Hello there, welcome to the GeoPoker channel. Hope you're doing well. Today it is time to explore Europe and last time around on this format Minju achieved a very impressive score of almost 24,000 points. So congrats to you Minju, very good game. Now let's see what awaits us in today's game. You can of course play along as always by clicking the link in the description. And let's get right into it. Okay. What do we have here? Um, looks Central European, probably Central slash Eastern European, I would say. Um, can't read that. Hmm. The bollards look Polish, I would say. The just ones with just the red. Those are the ones in Poland. Okay, so we are in Poland most likely. Um, okay, also can't read that, but it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure we're in Poland here. Um, it is pretty flat with some very small hills towards the south right there yeah um very difficult could be pretty much anywhere in poland except the the very south where it's quite mountainous i mean we're not here the carpathian mountains but yeah other than that i think this is very challenging to pinpoint so I'm just gonna try my luck here. Um, I'm gonna go fairly far north, I think, but not too far north because I think up here it's really completely flat and we do have some small hills down there towards the south. So maybe, maybe over here somewhere. Oh wow, it was actually really far south. Look at that, actually quite close to the Carpathian Mountains. Oh wow, okay. Didn't expect that, but yeah, still okay points. Maybe it will get a bit better in the next round. Okay, that looks like Germany. Um, looks like Berlin to be precise. Um, Let's just see if we can get a sneaky look at one of the registration plates. Mm. Even if we could, the quality is probably too bad to be able to read it. Just looking for that B. See here, this one is not blurred, but I just can't read that. No way, Jose. Um, yeah, but these street signs here, I think those are pretty Berlin-y and these kinds of um, large apartment blocks you will mostly find in Berlin, at least in this size, this amount, you know, yeah, pretty sure this is Berlin. Um, let's see if... This is the east or the west of Berlin. Mm, do these look like Soviet style apartment blocks? Mm, I'm not sure. I think this is. Mm, no, it could be though. It could be. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for East Berlin. Also, these street lights here have more of a um, East German vibe in my opinion. Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Maybe I should look at all the clues first. Okay, so we have the, what is that? I can't read that. I think it's cut off a bit or uh, 
could take forever though trying to find that street. But I think I'm gonna go into the east of Berlin and just scan the map a bit. Maybe I can find a street like that. And yeah, I'll see you in a bit, I guess. Okay, so I've been searching Berlin quite a bit now. Um, I couldn't find this street name or anything that comes close to it. Um, yeah, this could take hours. Berlin is just incredibly large, um, at least for German standards. And the thing is, I've, I've been to Berlin twice and I was trying to search areas which I think I remember seeing a lot of uh, apartment blocks like this in. Um, but again, it, Berlin is so big there. There's like at least a dozen or so places where that could be, or two dozen or three dozen rather. Um, and I think we are relatively close to the center. Somewhere around here, maybe. I remember there being quite a few of these blocks. I don't know if it's exactly here, but it's somewhere relatively close to the center so i think i will go around here somewhere it's not the right location i know that but this may not be too far off so let's see oh yeah it wasn't it was all the way over here and that was schulze boysenstrasse <laughs> no wonder i didn't find that the like Almost half of that street name was actually cut off. I'm pretty sure I actually did scan this area. So yeah, good that I didn't continue searching. I would have never found that. Um, but yeah, not too far off. My feeling was right. It was in fact East Berlin. So here we go. Beautiful next round. Okay, from the hustle and bustle of the city all the way to the middle of nowhere in probably one of the Baltic countries, although we have quite a few rocks here. It's not too flat. That's interesting. We have yellow signs. Um, not entirely sure which all countries have that. <laughs> Which is something that would be very useful to know right now. Also, what would be very useful would be to read that sign, but I can't. So this one might be tough. Um, it's either Scandinavia or one of the Baltic countries. Now, it is relatively flat. We have quite a few dirt roads, but also we do have these, these rocks here. Which is a bit interesting, which is some that's something I wouldn't expect in Estonia and Latvia necessarily. Though I'm not sure, maybe you can encounter it there. Um, it's something that reminds me more of Sweden or maybe even Norway, but for Norway it's too flat for sure. Um, ah, this is a difficult one. Could it be Finland? I'm just, I'm a bit annoyed because I do not remember which of these countries have these yellow signs. I really don't remember. Might make this unnecessarily hard to decide. Mm. Can we see any of the houses? Those certainly don't look stereotypically Swedish, I would say. You know, not one of these red... Uh, wooden buildings mm. might be Finland I mean Finland is quite flat but I'm sure you can find a few rocks here especially on these close to these islands here on the coast um, yeah I think I'm gonna go for Finland hopefully this is not too far off I'm gonna go fairly south close to the islands 
Uh, yeah, maybe down here. Let's try that. And it was Sweden. Okay, all right. Close to the coast indeed. Close to the city or rather the village of Beck. Okay. Oh well. I don't think I would have clicked that far up even if I knew it was in Sweden. So probably would have gotten similar points. So there we go. Fourth round. Oh, right away a few clues. This is Cyrillic writing. Very interesting. Okay, so that narrows it down to a handful of countries. What do we have here? Mm, is there any clue here? Not if you can't read the script, there isn't. Um, oh, this might be another tough one. What is this? Is this a useful clue? It looks quite abandoned, which is interesting. No, I don't think we're in <laughs> the Chernobyl area or I, I don't, is there street view in this uh, closed off area in Chernobyl? Hmm, I don't know that because What's interesting is that this really does look quite abandoned. But then again, it could could just be uh, some some other industry area somewhere in Russia, which is just happens to be abandoned. You know, Chernobyl is not the only place where things are abandoned. Plus, the sign looks relatively recent. And why would they put something like that up in in the Chernobyl area where no one goes? So mm, I think that rules that out. Probably also there's no Google Street View there, I would assume. So um, still, I think we might very well be in um, in the Ukraine. We're not in Belarus because it's Google imagery. So I think I might actually go for the Ukraine anyway, but not for Chernobyl. I'm gonna go. Hmm. I'm gonna go in the middle of nowhere because that's where this apparently is and just hope I'm not too far off. Let's just pick a random street in the middle of a forest. Oh, there's one right there. And it was Russia. All the way up here, south of St. Petersburg. What was this? Can we find that out? Hmm. I can't really tell. No, there's no sign, nothing. Okay, all right. Final round is around the corner and wow, it's a stunning one. It is certainly a stunning one. Um, okay, that looks like Iceland to me. The dark soil, these well, quote unquote bollards, um, just a general landscape. I think this must be Iceland. Um, Faroe Islands are also an option, but I'm pretty sure that this is Iceland. In fact, um, we have this bay or fjord situation or whatever that is, which is quite large it almost looks like a river of sorts so that should be quite distinctive on the map you know something like this or this thing here mm, interesting is it maybe a, a little river and there's a dam somewhere no i think this is the open sea isn't it and the sea is towards the north here, pretty much. So this certainly doesn't add up. Um, would be something like this right here. Yeah, I think this kind of fits. Now the good thing is we do have this little road here on the side, and this road here basically ends in a village. So 
if we can find that, because this is quite distinctive, then we can pinpoint this actually. So maybe this is possible. This road doesn't continue, does it, right? It kind of ends wherever that village is. And yeah, so it doesn't continue like this one. Okay, so all I have to do is look at these fjord-like thingies on the north coast and just find a road that fits. Oops, didn't want to do that. Um, not quite. Could this be it? Mm. Does that fit? No, we're too close to the water. You see, we, this road is like, it's right on the water. Also, there seems to be a little village here while there are just two, three houses over there. So it's not this one. Mm. This one seems a bit too small. Hmm. Are we in Iceland? I mean, it's pretty much exactly to the north, the sea. So maybe up here? Mm, doesn't quite fit. Hmm, I'm starting to doubt now that we are in Iceland. <laughs> Uh, maybe I was a bit too confident about the, the dark looking soil and disregarded other places. Also, I'm sure the roof rack is a good clue, but I'm trying to not use these meta clues. Um, so yeah, I, I think I might have to uh, consider the Faroe Islands here. Maybe I was a bit too quick to judge there. Okay, so I have searched all of the Faroe Islands, then I went to the Shetland Islands and to Svalbard and to the Norwegian coast and I just couldn't find a place that fits and then I came back to the Faroe Islands because I just felt like the landscape and everything, it just fits best. And then I noticed this place here. Now, I am very confused because there is no village here. I mean, all I can see is you know, like two, three houses over there. But I saw this situation here, you know? And that, I mean, it doesn't really align that well, but this is honestly the best I could find. And maybe the, the village is just behind that hill, so you can't see it. I don't know, but this is honestly the best I could find and like the, the landscape and everything fits. So this might be it. I'm not sure, but I will just have to try this one. So it was correct. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, that took forever to find, but I finally managed to do it. Let's view the summary altogether. Mm, not my greatest game. How did you perform? Did you find that place in the Faroe Islands? If you did, well done, and I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.